record the movie podcast where Sean and Mampy watch it, talk shit, and most importantly, eat shit. We are the law. And guess what we saw? Civil War. Brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, sons, versus, daughters. Versus, versus brothers, brothers, mothers. Brothers. Brother versus mother. And others. Brothers versus others, others Ooh, versus brothers. Brothers versus others and others versus brothers. Mm, I like shit. this. This is directed, <laughs> written by Alex Garland. Oh, I've heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should we list what he's done? Why not? He did. <laughs> um he wrote twenty eight days later. Oh, classic. He um wrote, but also probably some say ghost directed dread. Oh, okay. Ex machina. Mm. Annihilation. Annihilation. Uh, men, the widely hated but actually pretty awesome <laughs> men. And um, what else? Oh, Civil War. Civil War, the movie that we now. saw. That's crazy. What Michael, are the odds? Mm-hmm. Mampy. Yeah. Would you tell me something? Please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. Uh, what did you think about this movie? Okay, I'll give you I'll give you Michael's opinion, and I'll give you Mampy's. Please opinion. <laughs> spread it out. Man, but, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, or, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be a pretty unbearable podcast, I think. It'd be horrible. <laughs> if I ever do a solo episode, <laughs> it'll yeah. just be the Feel two. Feel free. Of us. That would be very intense. Hey, what do you think, Mampy? Uh, well, well, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, if I had to pick, I would say that Civil War is pretty good. Um, <laughs> no, I think that uh, I had, you know, I didn't know what to expect going in. Mm. And, la- you know, last pod I I mentioned, you know, I get worried about sometimes movies, maybe they inspire dumb yeah. people to do dumb things. But I was all wrong. This yeah. isn't about, it's basically just like... A cautionary tale. Yeah. And anyone can become a bad guy. <sighs> Anybody. Even, man, oh man. Even California and Texas or everyone else. Or are they good? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, no. But. Go ahead. I, you know, I thought overall, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. There's some qualms that we will okay. get to. But I me. was like very impressed and I was like very impacted by a lot of it. Oh my God. So that's yeah. what I, that was my true experience of the film. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I thought it kind of kicked ass. Mm-hmm. Even outside of like the political weirdness that people are complaining about. Yeah, sure. Um, which I actually don't think is that weird, honestly. But um, even outside of that, I thought just like, well, it, it was incredibly scary. Yeah. <laughs> Very thrilling. Mm-hmm. Um, the sound design was amazing. Wow, yeah, like, crazy. Like, not, not heat level. We're not <laughs> talking about heat level, but, like, all the gunshots, all Oof. the explosions were just, like, brutal. Brutal. Every death was like, oh, God, oh, no. Yeah, you felt it. That sucked. Oh, fuck, that sucked so bad. Yeah. And um, I think that I think that is what a war movie should do, or at least... <sighs> A war movie that intends to say things about war. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's plenty of cool war movies that are just about how war kicks ass. And it's <laughs> yeah. great to blast people who look different than oh, you in yeah. the head with a gun. Even... And, and it's cool. Yeah. If they have the slightest difference of opinion, <laughs> yeah. just blow them away. And that is... I mean, that's essentially what this movie is <laughs> yeah, about, too. True. true. It just makes you feel worse. <laughs> You're like, oh. Yeah. You're like, oh, wait, maybe... That's, That's bad. Not great. Maybe uh, it's bad to hang someone from a <laughs> from a car wash. Yeah, I know. I used to know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Even worse, probably. So awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good flick. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, thought, I thought I was very surprised because I, I was like, "Oh, what's this gonna be? Some yeah, silly whatever." But it was yeah. I was just like, "Dang, Oof. it is not silly." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, other than like one or two parts, it is not silly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You just kind of go, oh no. That's oh, what oh. I thought. Because well, like, because there. I mean, obviously, in a lot of action, you know, blast them up movies, you, they sometimes you do laugh and go like, oh my god, that was crazy. Yeah. But this one didn't have that effect on me. I was just mostly like, 
horrified, which yeah. made it interesting because the dude next to me was the opposite. And I was oh, like, he was oh, this is time. kind of intense. Yeah. Like, uh, when they like blasted people away for not being from U.S., he was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. I but mean, hey, you got to get your joy wherever you can. I've That's done that part. sort of thing sure. in movies sometimes. That, I, not in this movie. Yeah, I think there's like an area where it crosses over and I go, oh, yeah, that was yeah. just brutal. And especially oh, yeah. the, like you said, the sound design, like the impacts were so intense. It was just like, yeah. holy goodness. I mean, like, they were startling. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, the, there was time, there were, were like scene transitions mm. that were uh, accented, yeah. exclamation pointed with like an explosion or a gunshot or something. And you just go, oh, <laughs> yeah, <my God."> exactly. <laughs> Whoa, just makes you fly away. (laughs) (laughs) Just like the whale. I think they should have handed out those headphones, the like uh, earmuffs they give you at gun ranges. Because, man, it really felt like I was in the range. That, I've been in a range like a few times in my life, and it is never, I never get used to this. It's like every time it happens, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. One time I was in there and this guy was using like a, I don't know what, some kind of little machine gun thing. Yeah. And uh, I was doing like a pistol. I'd never done a gun before. And I was like, this is terrifying. And the guy's yeah. over there. He's like, you want to try this one out? And I was like, I'm okay. Thanks. No, I don't yeah, want to, okay. sir. Thank you, sir. You're too kind, but, but I'd the, rather not. Yeah. The joy in his heart was apparent, but I just, I don't sure. share that for it. I've I've heard from multiple multiple people that it's incredibly awesome to yeah. shoot guns, but yeah. I sca- I get scared. It is it is scary. A shotgun was the pretty intense. I did that oh once. Oh my Woo! god, scary! I was like, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> did you think, wow, this sure would be cool if someone was walking into my house right now in the middle of the night? So I could blast him against the <laughs> yeah. wall. No, yeah, I didn't quite have that thought, but okay. but okay. but I could see how you would. No. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. It makes it so much sense. The power. The oh my god. The power of the gods. The power of the gods. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. This is it was I, it was cool to see a movie that was like this is bad. Oh like, yeah. I mean, it didn't say like who was bad or wrong or whatever, but like. The, the act yes. itself was presented as just bad. Like, yeah. It was like, this is just not good. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think also, I mean, it's... I have seen people complain that it is vague. Yeah. One, I don't think it's that vague. Yeah. It's... But also, that's kind of the point. Like, okay. it's, it's not like, oh, Republicans sure <laughs> are bad. Exactly. It's kind of like, well, the, the act of war is bad. Um, the fact that we create these meaningless divisions yeah. in order to fight over land or sp- space or government or whatever is bad. Yeah. And then what war does to us is even worse because, you know, we think that we're fighting for something, mm-hmm. but we're once, once people's brains get mucked up in the the horrors of war, then, you know, they do weird shit like, you know... Blasting a bunch of people and putting them in the back of a truck. Yeah, crazy. Dumping them into a big <laughs> hole. <laughs> Insane. Can you, <laughs> like, that's the real war stuff that freaks me out. Just like the minutiae of like, okay, I gotta go dig a hole because we have all these dead bodies. Like, oh, that's so many dead bodies. Freaks me out. It's like, oh, how could you, like, be doing that? Like, oh, just dig in this hole and all right, let's just drop them in there. Like, that is wild to me. I mean, <laughs> you get brainwashed enough. I guess so, yeah. That's scary. Oh, Yeah, I mean. I don't like And it. that's why I've been generally annoyed by everyone <laughs> saying, like, oh, this is so vague. It's like, Like, no. what's vague? What? It's, <laughs> it's about how war is bad. Yeah, exactly. I even saw, so, like, I, I was reading, because this ma- movie made me think a whole lot, mm-hmm. I was reading a lot of reviews and, like, reading a lot of... Uh, interviews yeah. with Mr. Garland, which were not entirely helpful, but were sort of <laughs> helpful. And there were a few people who were like, e- it, what it ends up being is saying, war is hell, and is that enough? 
I was like, I don't know. I, I mean, guess. it you, should be. What do you prefer? <laughs> yeah, what do you want it to say? I wish it would say that Democrats are good and exactly. Republicans are bad. And I that love would be it. horrible. Or uh, the Republicans are good and Democrats are bad. That would be a stupid movie. <laughs> I just like that, like, it's a movie that's like divisiveness and all this shit is like yeah. horrible and is killing us and then everyone's like but it needs to be divisive and separate us more we don't like it's like you know you missed yeah. the whole thing like, yeah and which maybe is that helps drive the movie even further it's like no just focus on like how this is this literally is gonna kill us yeah <laughs> it's just sure crazy. i don't know i i thought i don't I, there up till like a certain point, I was like, "This movie's awesome. I really love what it's doing, yeah. and it's like cool to see." Especially after seeing like Monkey Man last week, that's a totally yeah. different version of like violence, sure. like hyper fake and like yeah, like action crazy, which is great. I love that stuff. I think yeah. it's so much fun. It doesn't have like the real world like effed upness that no. this does at all. No. So that was cool to have that like. Just jagged contrast, and just be like, "Oh fuck, this yeah. is just messed up." Though I did, spoiler alert, root and go yes when uh, Sammy ran over uh, the guy, oh, yes. the, the soldier who was shooting everybody. He's awful. Yeah, he was just cruel and evil. Terrifying. Which, A terrifying man. Um, I does that bring his, you to uh, your beef lamb euro? I mean, I could tell you the, the brief, the beef lamb euro if you want. I mean, it seems like we've reached a point where we want to speak about our very think, favorite part of the movie. Yeah, we the should. The beef lamb euro. The beef lamb euro. Which, uh, for people who don't know the lore, I, I've learned that people don't know why we call it that. I don't know either. <laughs> Uh, people have Great asked, question. and it's funny because I wasn't even on the show at first, but I oh, know yeah. the lore. You know, uh, we used to do this show in an actual food court. Yeah, and we would spin a wheel of meals. Yeah, and we would eat wherever it was. We'd yeah. have our little microphones. Everyone would be looking at us. What are they They'd doing? Like, what are they talking about? The fuck. We're doing our pre-show, folks, and then we would go see the movie. Yeah, and we say gyro or lo mein because. Those are food court items. Yeah. But it's weird because lo mein is delicious, but it lo is... Lo mein's great. Yeah. We're just Maybe saying, even better than a gyro. I agree. What if you got a gyro filled with... Okay, the bread is egg roll, and the oh. inside is lo mein. Oh. <laughs> mm. That'd be very crunchy. Your main, or lo ro. Lo ro. Mm. I'll get the lo ro, please. Anyway, that's yeah. a little bit that's of it. lore. <laughs> that's it. Check out. Hey, all you need to do is scroll all the way. Just get on your Spotify or Apple Podcasts and scroll, 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 and get all the way down to the bottom and you know, look into the past. That's Our what first you movie do. was Mission Impossible Fallout, where we nearly Crazy. saw a race war. Yeah, nearly, nearly. Which was pretty cool. <laughs> Which I was there. I was present, but not on the pod. Yes, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I get it. This was years ago. Yeah. Also, um, the race war was between two different races that were not black. Yeah. And one of them was calling the other the N word, which is always fascinating, wasn't it? Me I f feel like it was H Hispanic guys calling white guys the N word. I think if I so. Right. I'm pretty which sure. Which is pretty cool. That's a crazy. There's I a mean, lot to read into good there. Good for them. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> good for them. Yeah. No one should be saying that word, and it's a really m big misuse of it because yeah. that doesn't fit. Uh, no. Cracker, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Honky, honky, which I what? love. Those are so gentle, and when yeah. people are like, "Well, they get to say that," <laughs> it's like, honky. honky, is that really? <laughs> I don't think that has the same weight as you know what. But uh, I digress. Let's get you back do. to the euro. Uh, so I did love the part when the guy gets run over, but my okay. euro overall. Yes, I thought the photography in the movie. Yeah. Was super well done yeah. and like super impactful. And it added so much weight to every, like it was already heavy, but then it would just like capture this like brutal moment. Like when yes. the, the, that like black soldier, soldier guys like gets shot yeah. and they like drag him and he's just like 
bleeding, dying, and screaming, oh. reaching out for help. You're just like, oh. oh, it just like made it so impactful and just like really like made you think about how these, you know, photographers had to run in. They're like snapping these like really intense moments. Yeah. It's just interesting. There's so many layers and complications to like, is that okay to do? And yeah, it sure. is good to share these things and good for people to see so they can be, uh, uh, I don't know what the word is, empowered to maybe want yeah. to change things. Do but something or can, in, at the very least informed. Informed, yeah. But then it can also be used um, to, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh my gosh, what's the word? Like, uh <laughs> propagandize yes, things and absolutely. you're like oh man so it just had all these layers and i thought that was so beautiful and it was like they clearly got a real photographer to come in and capture i think yes, these maybe i mean i guess oh. that's who is filming it but like maybe kaylee spaney did a good job maybe i can't imagine i i would love to see the real images from oh, the scenes yeah. like if they're just like all <laughs> fucking just blurry <laughs> and nothing but i just thought those were so good like this this shot where uh Big spoiler. spoiler. After Sammy dies and like the shot through the window with like the oh. clouds, I was like, that is like a really haunting and pretty image. Yeah. Uh, and it was beautiful that Lee deleted it, but really good. Yeah. Shit. I was like, that was awesome. So just, the, I thought that was such a good integration of, because they've done that in lots of movies, but this just had a really, it just really was impactful. I was like, oof. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Absolutely. And it, um, I think we don't, learn about much about these people which is mm. fine um, yeah. but like it gave us sort of a look into their thing absolutely you, know, you, you see the pictures and you go okay i sort of understand them a little bit yeah a little bit <laughs> a little bit a little bit I sort of understand them a little bit <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah that was my favorite i thought it was cool very very uh very nice you want to know what my favorite was? Yes, please tell me. You want to know what my beef lamb euro was? Tell me. Tell okay, me. this is what it was. <laughs> the Jesse Plemons scene. Oh, yeah, so good. That's awful. Terrible. Just brutal. Um, and it's it's very uh, smartly set up. Mm-hmm. Um, the setup is they're being absolutely kooky. Yep. <laughs> they're, they're on a side road. Um, there's... Two Chinese um, mm -hmm. reporters. Well, if they're from Hong Kong. I don't know if that counts. I don't know. I don't know what somewhere. They're yeah, <laughs> they're from in in the Asia. Yeah, in the Asia, uh, in the big old Asia. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, and they're the one guy like goes from one window to another of, of SUVs yes. doing absolutely insane stuff. Crazy. And then Jesse, uh, the younger photographer she goes through and they're being absolutely nuts and um then uh our main group lee and joel and sammy they lose the yeah. truck because oh, they're going God. fast and then they come around a corner and they see it parked with the doors open yeah and we know from the rest of the movie that that's bad yeah not good <laughs> you don't you don't want to just randomly lose people in this current situation no really don't and when they find them uh they they notice that there's a big dump truck <laughs> and it's full of people yeah oh. uh and there's a feller played by jesse plemons who has not cool uh heart-shaped glasses yes he's having fun and he's gently spreading lye or some kind of dust over the dead body so it doesn't smell up the place, which mm -hmm. is very kind of him. Yeah, that's very considerate. I don't think anyone thinks of that when they watch the scene. <laughs> no. They think, oh, this guy's so bad. Well, think of how bad it would smell. In this nice, it's the countryside. It's yeah. beautiful. Think how bad it would smell. Yeah, that's so true. So is he really that bad? <laughs> it's up to interpretation. Yeah, that's, that's what really... I love about the movie. It's really vague. Who knows? Is he bad or good? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but he uh, is uh, doing evil shit, and the the whole team goes to save little Sammy and mm -hmm. the other guy who I don't know his name. Some nice Chinese guy who drives real fast. Oh yeah. Oh Je yeah. Jesse and the the 
uh, the Whatever. other guy. You know, Jesse the and guy. the guy. <laughs> Jesse and the guy. This Jesse and the guy. <laughs> Fridays on CBS. Jesse and the guy. Oh, man. Did you see what the guy did? Holy crap. That was so funny. He slipped in a, a, a cake batter. Somebody <laughs> spilled cake. Well, he spilled the cake he batter on the floor, it. then slipped in it, and then poured more cake batter over his head. Oh, my God. And Jesse was like, what have you done? How does she put up with it? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> bad things. Bad things are happening, <laughs> with, including a really terrifying uh, questionnaire. Yes. Where he has, says, oh, you're Americans. What what kind of American are you? Ugh. And they all answer, um, you know, I think one's from Iowa or some shit. And mm-hmm. Florida. Somebody's from Florida. Thank God the Hispanic guy's from Florida. Ooh, yeah. Which is a real close one. And then one guy's like from Hong Kong, and he gets fucking blasted. That is such. Oh my gosh, it's so sad because he's like, well, first off, they've got Jesse and the guy on the ground, and yeah. and like this out of nowhere just shoots the one guy, and yes. you're like, oh my gosh, these people yeah. are absolutely because they're like, we're pressed, like please yeah. don't harm, and they just like doesn't give a shit, just kills sure. the dude, of course. And then yeah, he's like. Once he gets to the one guy who's like crying and like freaking oh. out, understandably, oh, can you speak English. He's like, uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Can you can't? It's really, it's brutal, awful. Anytime a, a, someone with a gun with their finger on the trigger is right that close to you, it's pretty yeah. bad. It's uh, really awful. And if they're asking really insensitive questions, this is a time where you can't be like, well, you know, it's actually not right for you to. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they'll just kill you. Um, that's actually really rude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I am Chinese, but I speak English, English. really well. I have an accent yeah. because I was born in Hong Kong. What do you want me to do but, about it? But I speak English. I live here. What do you want to talk about? But he wasn't interested in that because as soon as no. he says Hong Kong, he goes, see, this is what I'm talking about. You're yeah. from here. You're from here. And then he, oh, man. Blast him. brutal. And it's so, again, that sound, it's just like... Ooh, it is so fucked. It's yeah, because you're just like, oh no, 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 and then yeah. he does it, and it's so brutal. And what I think is really interesting about the scene mm-hmm. is that then he, there's no indication that he's going to stop killing them. Exactly. Yeah. The the all indications are this. He's just having fun. Yep. He's having a little fun before he kills everyone. Yep. He's doing a little <laughs> bit about whether they're Americans, but he's gonna kill. Everyone. It does seem like it. It's like, and whoa. which is really even more interesting yeah. than him just simply being some weird racist. Yeah, it's that. Well, he was going to kill them anyway, but he wanted to do this fun bit where he scares them first. Yeah, terrifying. It's like, oh man, this guy's this guy is evil. Completely emotionally cut off. Just, but like, yeah, even more fun. He seems to be. Part of the Florida and Texas alliance. Yeah. Because he's in fatigues and stuff. And they are ostensibly our heroes attacking the the fascist government run by... Uh, Nick Offerman. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, oh, this is this is good stuff. Yeah, it's very interesting. The Western Front. It's like I can never tell who's on the Western Front, which is very fascinating because we would all have American military stuff like yeah, it makes sure. sense it's that confusing yeah. i did like the delineation where there's like just people in regular clothes with like army gear on but yeah it's yeah. like it starts to become the line gets so blurred which i think is a part of the the movie it's just yes, like oh it's absolutely just, yeah it's how do you know and and yeah. i think it's also like part of its attempt to make a broader statement yeah like when they they're in pennsylvania at a gas station and there's mm-hmm. four or five dudes and they've got, like, whatever, they've got their ARs, or they got their long guns, mm-hmm. and they're just dressed like regular people, and they're not like, hey, what you doing here? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Like, they're not, like, generic rednecks. They're just, hey, what's going on? What are you doing here? Yeah. They're like, we need gas. They're like, well, uh, we don't have gas. We can <laughs> sell you a sandwich for $300 if yeah. you want. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Uh, and I think that's really good. Yeah, I thought that was well done. Because it's... Uh, I I think that the idea... I I think maybe the problem I have is I don't know what what other thing would have worked. 
Exactly, yeah. I, so yeah. if you don't want it to be this sort of, like, maybe war is bad, mm-hmm. and maybe it affects even people who are regular people. Hey, I knew that guy. I used to know that guy. He, I, But I'm still hanging him up from a car, car wash. Isn't yeah. that weird? I think that's it more powerful than just being like, well, shit, what the hell are you doing at our gas exactly, station? Exactly, yeah. We are clearly... <laughs> Uh, rednecks, so we are Republicans. I'm uh, very glad it didn't. I think who that the fuck knows are are these guys? Who the fuck are these guys? They're just guys, and they and got then guns. also people are like, why are uh, Texas and California together? It's like, well, they're. I mean, California's got like three really big liberal cities, yeah. and then the rest is a, a fucking wilderness. Yeah, who knows? That's yeah. why. Exactly. Yeah. Who knows? And they have the most people combined, so they're yeah. like, let's combine and yeah. stop these people. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not that crazy of a re. I think, especially once you obliterate the sides, like yeah. the political sides, like sure. this movie does, it's like, okay, it. But it's like, yeah, what is it? Was it going to be Kansas and Ohio? Like, it's like, <laughs> like I mean, who knows? <laughs> these big things. And also, the another thing I like about it is that um, they the idea is that the the president has like ordered strikes mm-hmm. against his own country. Yeah, like he's blowing up parts of his own country with missiles and shit. Easy. So that changes people quite a bit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. Even if Texas is like super duper hardcore Republican, mm-hmm. m- maybe maybe their governor gets killed, or well, yeah. we don't know what the fuck happened. Who knows? I don't. know. Okay, yeah. I just like it. That's I think, all I'm trying uh, to say. I thought they did. I, yeah, I didn't have. I was wondering, but then it didn't matter. I was like, well, yeah, yeah that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it doesn't. Ma- it's anyway. not important. Exactly. This yeah. is about any conflict. Which is good. It's good yeah. because then anyone can watch it and be like, "Oh, whoa!" Like, yeah. or they, you would hope they would watch it and be like, "Oh, yeah, I am. I am both the Jesse Plemons character and Kirsten Dunst character. Like, sure. I am both of these things at the same time." Yeah, and like circumstance yeah. just turns us into that. Like, that's like. <laughs> but everyone's like, "But, but are they Republican or Democrat?" Yeah. It's like, no, stop. <laughs> I think that's maybe the problem I have with it is I don't understand what the other option would be. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's 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 fine that you want more specificity. Yeah. Maybe you want more clarity, but I don't know what that movie would look like. No, and it it doesn't fit the character. Like the characters need to be also confused like we like yes. the whole thing is confusing and hurtful yeah. and awful like it's supposed to be that way and They're like They're sneaking around. Exactly. Yeah. They're trying to not get killed. Anyone uh, they meet could either be their friend or their enemy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't mm. know. I, I, I really, I don't know. I liked um, how I liked a lot of the times when, like the the big scene where they go to the Winter Wonderland mm. and there's like the sniper like blasting everybody. It, it was crazy. That was awesome. so scary and just like so intense because awesome. you can't see who's attacking you. And then there's yeah. like these two soldiers who are like. In camo with like yeah. <laughs> oddly like rainbow hair, I don't, yeah. Which I was they like, look... is that like flowers or something? Like, is that I don't know what <laughs> that's knows? supposed to do. But uh, I really i I liked that scene because like, so Kirsten Dunst uh, Lee, her character Lee, she's like this big war photographer. Yeah. She's done it all these years, like kind of like numb to it, like just yeah. getting the shots and or stuff. Or thinks she's numb Think, to it. Yeah, exactly. Until she closes her eyes. Yeah, until she's like, oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Until she blinks and, and she remembers She's like, I'm a human. Fire. Yeah, exactly, which is brutal. Holy yeah. God. That scene, that visual is, you can say whatever you want about the movie, but that is one of the like most striking, just like horrific visuals I've seen in a while. I was like, oh yeah. my God. Guy with a tire wa- around his waist. <sighs> Just being set on fire. Jeez Louise. Oh, my Oof. goodness. Like, like, how can you be seeing that and be like, but is he Republican or Democrat? Like, who gives yeah. a shit? It doesn't matter at that point. Like, it's yeah. a human. <laughs> like, yes, absolutely. Uh, anyway, I, that's so crazy to me. But uh, may I briefly? Please. I, I think the, also the interesting thing about that is it f- if you just simply go from that general idea mm. that like anybody can be bad, 
it sounds almost like a both sides argument. Like, yeah. Oh, well, there's bad Republicans and there's that bad Democrats, which is true. Yeah. But also, I think the argument is more specifically like the the act of war, mm-hmm. The when we choose violence, we cease to become either of those things. Yeah. We, we no longer are those things. We're just... We're, it, our brains turn into different things, and mm-hmm. we're animals. Yeah, exactly. We're just like, ah! Exactly. He's shooting at us! Well, we gotta shoot at him! Is the whole thing. Exactly. Well, yeah, yeah. And they, they do that very well with, like, yes. when the their photographers are following, again, the people in regular clothes with the army gear. Yeah. They, like, win, and they drag these soldier dudes out with bags over their heads, and then yeah. some dude just, like, laughing while he's, like, blasting them with a the machine gun. You're just like... Yeah, he's just completely checked out and is just sure. like destroying these things that aren't that are against the like I I thought that was so and it was so well done to be like, yeah, these are the people that are helping us, but they're also just yeah. like and then like the Joel, the like press the interviewer guy, he's like yeah. laughing and ch- chucking and hucking it up. I don't know what that word is. Yucking. He's yucking it up. <laughs> yucking, yucking, yucking it up. And then when there's the shootings, he's like, "Oh, yeah, exactly." It's like because like, he's got he's got weird journalist brain where he's like, "Well, I better turn this off for a while. I'm gonna have exactly. a goofy time." And then you know, there's a brief moment of, "Oh yes, I forgot I'm in a war zone." Oh right, People yeah, they're being the, murdered. The idea of like the cameraman can never be hurt, almost like that is like very present. And yeah, it's like no, you you almost just got blown up. Like the yeah. first, I like that the movie sets the tone really early. Ooh, like yeah, uh, Lee pulls Jesse out of a thing because she gets like punched in the face. Yes. And then this woman with a flag runs in and just blows everybody up. And it's like, yeah. they would have all just been dead. And like yeah. it's like crazy to think. Yeah. And I, 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 yeah, I really liked, I thought that was well done. I don't know. I th- yeah. Mampy. Uh-huh. I want you to go back to the sniper part. I, I oh, got you all right. the way. I forgot about this. Because I love that part, too. I thought that whole scene was great. hmm And like... The, the Joel guy's still trying to, like, get the scoop. <laughs> and the soldier Who's guy's over there? like, a guy with a gun is trying to shoot. Like, uh, uh, can I have a comment? Who's over there? <laughs> yeah. And he's we like. We can't see him. <laughs> yeah. We're just, someone's trying to kill us. And he asks the, the girl, and she's like, yeah, like a guy with a gun. <laughs> and she's like. I don't know. There's a guy with a gun. <laughs> yeah, oh, he does use the R word, which I mean, mm. I think at this point, I think we're, we'd be past uh, political correctness. So I, I don't, I don't fault. Sure, <laughs> yeah. I, think I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, um, but I do also love. This would probably be me in this situation, just dissociating. But Lee just sitting there, like looking at flowers, just like, oh, yeah. the world's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. Outside of all of this. I and mean, I, I like it that. is quite nice other than war and stuff. <laughs> it is. It really is. You know, <sighs> you have a nice, like, if you go to a store right now mm. and buy crackers and cheese, <laughs> what a great day you're going to What have. a great day. Sit in the park. Yeah. Throw some crackers to the birds. Yeah. You got to feed the birds. I mean, come on. It's nice to feed the birds. They love it. I would recommend for the bird feeding fans get yourself some sunflower seeds. Ugh. That the birds love the sunflower seeds. Yes. They don't have to do like <laughs> <laughs> They just go <laughs> and they love it. They have really cool teeth in there, so. <laughs> do they? Yeah, they're scary. If you get a, a close look, they're like these jagged It's kind of scary. You don't think like about this? it. It's like <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> they like come in from the sides, and they like. <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. You know what else I liked about yeah, this what'd you movie? Like? What'd you? Um, I liked some of the needle drops. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I gotcha. One, actually, two that I loved. Loved. Mm. They um they played two needle drops. One. Right near the beginning and one at the end from Suicide, the New York band. Oh, damn. And um, I have always thought their music is kind of terrifying. <laughs> um, so I thought it worked really yeah. well. Like, they have these, like, really repetitive, old, old-timey drum mm. machines. And it's like... Yeah. 
And uh, I've always thought that, like, from the first time I listened to that music, I was like, this is fucking unsettling music. So I thought it was perfect for the movie. Yeah, it was. And uh, that's it. And they also crank it. It's just like, oh, yeah. Booming. Did you see it in IMAX? Yeah. Uh, I bet that was wild. Holy fuck, it was insane. I was, it was, there was a part where the bass was shaking me in like a regular theater. I was like, I bet that was, oh, like just. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. The, I, I was th- actually sitting in the theater with my um, AR. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> and just any time I saw, these are blanks, obviously. Yeah. No one was harmed. Okay. But any time I saw someone get shot, at, I just blasted off a few. Yeah, just to feel like yeah. you were there. Yeah. You were a part of it. Yeah. Man. I'm in the Civil War. I really hope. I mean, I'm sure maybe someone could, but. I can't imagine watching this and being like, hell yeah. (laughs) I like to be so horrific. I mean, Uh, (laughs) I think there is like a distant part of me that was hell yeah in the like, in the way that you watch something like The Strangers or some kind of survival horror where it's like, uh, this kicks ass, but in a horrible way. Exactly. Like, this is like the way it's put together is kicks ass. Mm -hmm. Like, the the tension of the scene, the ramping up of the tension. Yeah. And the way tension is released in, like, really ways that make you feel sort of worse. Sure, sure. Like, the fact that they start playing a De La Soul song at the <laughs> end of, like, the Hawaiian shirt guys Wild. fight. And then they're shooting people who have bags over their heads and, like, that sort of thing where you're like, oh, I just, I feel worse now. Exactly, yeah. It's a, it, it just makes you question a lot of stuff and you're like, hmm. oh, I feel weird. <laughs> I feel weird. In this I life. think... <laughs> Now, I've said this before in the show, but I think war is bad. I don't like it. I got to be honest. That's I just wish my opinion. It was a, I wish we had a world where it was a fictional thing that yeah. we still made art and things about, but, yeah, but sure. everyone was like on board like, yeah, that's bad. I'm so glad we don't do that anymore. Yeah. Oh, so glad that's gone. Nobody's trying to make anything bad happen. No. That would be so nice. Because it's great in art. Like, it's a great device. It does things. But Sure. But as they say, yeah. in the hit series Fallout, both the game and the show, <laughs> yeah. war never changes, baby. It never changes. It's always true. the same old fucking thing every time. It's the same old fucking yeah. thing every time. And I think... I mean, this would have had an impact no matter what, but especially with everything going on right now, it just, like, was so just, like, oh, God. Yeah. It just makes you just really, like, maybe, I mean, it would be probably bad if um, it took a movie to make people get <laughs> incentivized, but, I yeah. mean, you never know. I mean, things like this are definitely what made me, um, or what shaped me as a, yeah. you know, as a teen. Sure, sure. You know, watching shit like Clockwork Orange and yeah, and be like, oh, violence is <laughs> awful. Not it. It really is not I mean, good. it's awesome, but it's aw- it's awesome in movies, <laughs> yeah. but it's awful. In real, like, yeah, if any yeah. of this was happening to a real person. Yeah, it sure would, it would be, be terrible, wouldn't it? Brutal, yeah. Maybe, brutal. maybe there's some nice little teens out there who are like, oh, isn't war cool? And then they'll watch this movie and they'll go, wow, man, I may have been mistaken. Yeah, exactly. I <laughs> may I not have been right about on that. On second thought, I don't like it. <laughs> we can say nice things about this movie all day long. Yeah. But not now. Not anymore, baby. Because it's time to drop the low main. We're, it's about to be a civil war up in here. Yeah. We're about to fight. Okay, you know what sucks about this movie? Yeah. I'll tell you. You tell me. The one thing that I thought sucked. Um, there's a moment after Sammy, who is maybe our most lovable character and we haven't <laughs> talked about at all yet. Yeah. <laughs> played by Stephen McKinley Henderson, who Good is, job. he's like the old grizzled veteran, <laughs> but who's actually got the lightest touch. Yeah. He's like the one who has some sweetness to him. He's the one who has some brains. Mm. <laughs> he's like the only one who's like, hey, let's not do that. Yeah, this, this is, is a bad. Bad idea. And he keeps saying that even though he's still doing it. Yeah. He's like, "Ah, oh, man, we we are doing a dumb thing and we need to stop doing <laughs> exactly. a dumb thing." And every time everybody else is like, "We're going to do this. We're just going to do fun. the dumb thing. Why not?" Um 
But he, of course, uh, gets sh- spoiler alert. I mean, we've already said spoiler alert. He gets shot and killed. Yeah. And he's dying. And they're driving through a fiery forest. Yes, they which, are. Um, if it was pulled off correctly, would be great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I just thought it looked like shit. It was just weird. I just thought it looked bad. And it didn't really make much sense. Like, it was like, wait, so why is this happening? And if it was this, if it was like raging like this, that was probably recently. And how are you driving through? It just felt Um, very, like, I didn't, it was just there to be like this passage. Like, I get why they did it. But yeah, it just felt kind of forced and weird. And if, it did make me wonder, like, do people not just composite fire in anymore? Yeah. <laughs> Cuz or something cuz earlier on the when they light the guy with the tire on fire, that was the wild. fire looks great. Yeah, that was composite. Yeah, that was very Or something. Done. I don't know what they did to make it look good, I but they just took more time I felt or like who knows. They like did it to a prosthetic and like yeah. blended it or something. Like it looked crazy. It looked awesome. Very intense. But this fire just looked stupid. Yeah, there was it was like huh. it was just like oh well there is a whole bunch of CG fire. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a-, <laughs> a whole bunch of CG sparks. Yeah, who ca- I, Who cares? It just was a bit over the top for me, especially since everything else. I mean, maybe not everything else, but like most, yeah. They make they go to great lengths to make things feel right or yeah. right right enough. Absolutely. And that one is just like, well, that doesn't look anything like a fire. <laughs> yeah, this looks weird. It doesn't look anything at all like a fire. <laughs> and there's just a million sparks. And and also, like, because I've seen that kind of footage, like, phone footage yeah. of that kind of thing, and it looks fucking crazy and awesome and terrifying. And, like, they were driving through that, and it was like, well, this isn't scary or cool. Yeah. And it just... disappointed me. It loses its oomph, especially for a big moment like that, where characters yeah. like passing, like and the did... one character we actually like. Yeah, the one character who knew not to go into the danger. Yeah, who warned them about the danger, saved them from the danger, yeah. gets killed because he saved them <laughs> yeah. from the danger, and then you're like, and here's some fake fire. Yeah, <laughs> it just kind of feels a little off. I mean, I truly understand the idea. Sure, sh- absolutely. If they had pulled it off, it would have been fucking beautiful. You but, know what? Uh, uh-huh. Mm. It's like, uh, you're, what is that movie, 19 something? It's the war 1917. movie. 1917. Where, yeah. like, with the cool lighting effects. Like, yeah. Where they're, like, looking for him in the dark. Like, maybe yeah. something like that could have been more interesting, a little sure. more subtle. Like, not so, it was just so over the top. I was like, yeah. I don't know about this. Yeah. But I get what they're, and then, like, him, like, reaching for the, it was just like, this just, is weird. Like, yeah, he was like a baby. I was like, what? Yeah. These are beautiful. I did also crack up, and I get why they did but like, he almost never gets out of the car, like, the whole movie, which I thought was so funny. Like, he's just always in the car. I was like, like, the three others get out and go do shit all the time, and he's just, yeah, sitting there. Like, that's so fucked. I mean, I, I get it. Same. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he probably didn't want to get. I feel I feel that way now, and I'm not nearly as old or big as him. Yeah, exactly. I always want to sit in the car. People are like, "Hey, you want to go for a hike?" I'm like, ah, just tell me what I yeah. <laughs> just let, I'm gonna just leave the just leave the windows open for uh, me. I'm gonna yeah. get, I'm gonna take a little nap. Uh, you want to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk? Everything about this feels like death. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, uh, you want to go feed the ducks? Did you hear me before? I said everything about this feels like ass. Yeah. Are you on quack? Because of the ducks. It's a little callback to the ducks. But That's what he says. Yeah. The funniest uh, part of the movie, for sure. Fun- yeah, we need to start doing uh, the funniest part. Our saltine quackas. <laughs> we quacked up. That, was, that really quacked me up. Um, I agree. That, that part... Didn't quite do it for me. I I have a more severe low main, I think. Oh. Which is tough because it's kind of a big part of the movie. Uh-oh. So, for me, my low main, because I was on board with the movie. I was, I was like, okay, this is good. We're getting there. Like, this mm-hmm. makes sense. I just thought that 
uh, Lee, Kirsten Dunst's character. Yeah. She has this shift after Sammy dies. Yes. That is just so intensely drastic that yeah. it feels like we missed a scene or something in between. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, because it just like, because the whole movie, she's just like, psh, 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 psh. oh, yeah, I don't, I'm numb. I'm catching things. And then, of yeah. course, if you're good friend you've known for a long time dies in a brutal way that will affect you but yeah. like there just wasn't like the bridge of like mm. to me at least because they do have the scene where lee and jesse are talking and like jesse's like i feel so alive but also yeah. like whatever yeah but i think maybe if lee had had a bit more like breakdown -y sure progression because she's just suddenly like un incapable of taking pictures she's just like broken yeah. and you're like okay i get it but also like it just feels so jagged. Yeah, I agree with that. And I don't know. It just, it just, it took me out of it. And I was like, wait, I needed a little bit more to understand why her care, or like something. I don't know. So it just that that just didn't quite work for me. I was like, oh wait. And I get why they did it, obviously. Sure. For the yeah. movie, but like, it just, it just was a little too abrupt. I thought um, that it for me it mostly worked because mm -hmm. it was like a sort of a straw that broke the camel's back kind yeah, of thing yeah. where it's like that last thing. The th the thing that kind of didn't exactly work for me mm -hmm. is when she like turned it back off. Yeah. Like when confusing. she like went back into a pro mode and I don't know. It, I understand why that had to happen also. Yeah. Because sure. they have to get her into the house <laughs> because they, she has to spoiler alert die. Mm -hmm. You know, I, yeah. I I understand, like, the mach machinations of them having to get, plot-wise, her into the house because, she, you know, she has to be part of it and all that. But, like, the yeah, the maybe the on-off-on switch yeah. didn't quite make sense to it me. It was a little odd. Because if she went back into pro mode, why would she then throw herself and get killed? Like, it just doesn't really quite work. And, yeah, like, because Lee... The Lee that we know up until then might have pushed Jesse yeah. out of the way, but she wouldn't have gotten in the way. No. But maybe this is the new Lee that has... She's seen her ups and downs, and she has seen her friend die, and she doesn't want to watch somebody else die. And also, she has some... It, it, she has less respect for her own life now. <laughs> yeah, it does seem... I mean, possibly. I mean, she just stood there. Like, it felt a little... That, to me, also was like... I just don't buy that she would mm -hmm. do that. Like, I, it just didn't quite work. I get for the movie and, like, getting Jesse to take the picture and, like, sure. become this other thing. But it just, like, didn't make any sense. Like, she pushes out of the way and she stands there and yeah. just like, all right, shoot me. And then gets yeah. shot. And you're like, maybe if she did want to die, I guess. But, like, it just yeah. didn't seem a very apparent. It was just like... And I almost yeah. would have preferred if Jesse had been killed. Like, it would have almost oh. been more poetic. Like, sure. well, you're, <laughs> this is what you wanted. Yeah, <laughs> it this is what the job is. Yeah, almost <laughs> if, like, Lee would have, like, told them, like, okay, he's definitely in the house, but, like, still been breaking down and not, or just, like, giving up. Yeah. And they, like, oh, I gotta go get it. And then that happened. Maybe it would have been more interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just, it just didn't quite work. And I like agree. Jesse became a full sociopath. I was just like, whoa, yeah. like this is just weird. Yeah. I don't know. Even though it mirrors Lee saying, Yeah, if you died, I would take the picture probably. Sure. Or she says, Absolutely. What do you think? Yeah. Which was who knows, probably not. I yeah. mean, she did take a picture of Sammy, but she deleted it because she was like, yes. This is just wrong. In general, I thought, even though I quite enjoyed the movie yeah. a whole whole lot, the that the uh, storming the White House was awesome. Yeah, it was very well All done. of that stuff was very exciting. Um, like, the actual inside stuff was very exciting. I just thought, like, the plot points there yeah. were not as strong. Didn't quite work for just, me. Just, like, I didn't mind her breakdown that much, because it sort of showed their, like, shifting, uh, I don't know. Sure, their, sure shifting the way they are. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're they're shifting feelings, yes. I guess. Um but just all the fact that she also died and then now once that happened, 
I enjoyed the fact that like no one cared. Yeah, literally no one gave a shit. They didn't give a shit. They just like went in and they they got the picture. And um I liked even though it was, of course was the most on the nose that the movie gets. Yeah. When he's like, "Wait, wait, I need a quote." Yeah. I was <laughs> like, oh, "Please don't, please don't let him kill me." He's like, "That'll do." Yeah. I was like, Geez. I like that part. It was, even yeah. though it is incredibly on the nose. I think all of it, like, kind of, it, it just all went into poetics, like, yes. rather than like what was like literally happened. I mean, maybe yeah. it also literally happened, but like, it felt more about like this is just the poetry of it, like. Yes, this, one man dies, another man yeah, lives. Exactly. Um, you you will you will fulfill my destiny. Yeah, you will take the picture. This is the whole reason we came here. Mm-hmm. And also, I like outside of the weirdness of that, I enjoyed the fact that their entire trip to, was to watch a man shot, which is crazy. Yeah, like that was. Oh, we gotta go behind the lines, and <laughs> we gotta see someone die. <laughs> we gotta sneak around and risk <laughs> our lives so we could see a man killed, which is crazy. <laughs> crazy. That's cool. It's wild. And then they played more Suicide. They played Dream Baby Dream <laughs> and showed the smiling photos. Cra- yeah, that was. The, like, part, the, like, breakdown of the bureaucracy where, like, that press lady comes out and she's like, look, we're willing to negotiate. And then they just, like, shoot her. You're just like, jeez. Yeah. Just so, so wild, man. I mean, this is what happens when you fuck with America, baby. It's true. We fuck back. We fuck back. (laughs) Every time. The Constitution matters. You don't get three terms. You get two terms, motherfucker. That's right, baby. And after that, you're out. Yeah. And if you fuck with us... Texas, Florida, and California <laughs> are going to battle together, <laughs> and they're going to fucking blast you. We're going to blast you. You got that Trump. I want to see the movie that's every or state Biden. every state versus Florida. I think that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all of our dreams. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I do nuts. like Florida, though. I like, I like to visit. It's a nice It's a nice place, place to, place to go to. Yeah. Um, they're, they're weird. I want to go to the Salvador Dali Museum. Mm. Yes. But they are incredibly transphobic there. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm Casper, who I've been d- d- uh, dating. Yeah, yeah. With, well, I don't, we're just like, well, is it going to be fucking weird? Yeah. Are, are we going to be abducted? Kind of weird. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's going to happen if we go there? I know. I mean, me just walking around, I'm in fucking New York. I'm like, are people going to kill me for wearing yellow glasses? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Like I, I mean, in the South, it seemed more that way. Uh, like, yeah. especially I start going down to like Alabama or something. Sure. I'm like, I should let's change back to the black shades. Yes, uh, <laughs> me, I'm just a regular black guy. I yeah, don't have nope. I never smile. Nope, never have a good time even once. <laughs> Uh, and they're like, oh, good, good. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's all we want is for you not that's, to have a good time. That's all we want. We don't want to kill you. <laughs> we, we just want you, want you to have a bad time. We repress everything you feel. Don't be yourself. And yeah. <laughs> because you being yourself really is affecting us repressing being ourselves. So, you know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so fucking Thank stupid. you for saying that, Michael. But I want to go to Islands of Adventure, the theme Ooh. park, uh, for my birthday. So you everybody... Should. Okay. Just be pulling that I can do that. I'll see you there. Yeah, you should. Come on down. Everyone's invited. I don't know what Islands of Adventure is, but... It's great. It's got oh. all the roller coasters, Ooh. all the rides. It's okay. a blast. Well, keep me posted. It's a great time. Uh, <laughs> but we can't only talk about Islands of Adventure. No, we can talk about one more bad thing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I gotta say it. I just say gotta it. say it. Um, I, I gotta say it. I didn't like Ron Swanson... Uh, as the oh. president. I thought that was a really bad choice. I'll be honest. I haven't watched the show that people like him from, True. so I have never liked him once. <laughs> That's good. I've, every time I've seen him, I've been like, is this the thing that people like? <laughs> yeah. Like, he's I, fine. It's I, just I, like... Uh, I don't know. That like that was just a weird tone to start it off with. Yeah. Like I was just like, oh, what is this movie going to be? Yeah. And then it got really good, and I was like, okay... Yeah. But then when he came back, I was like, I just don't. He just takes me out of it completely. Like it's weird. It just. I think it should have just been a regular president-looking guy. Like yeah, would have been fine. But yeah, it just I didn't. And unless they're saying some like weird Trump thing, like oh the celebrity's the president. Like I don't. I know. think they maybe kind of sort of kind are. Of, but yeah. Not, you know. I don't know. Who knows. But we give him white hair like Biden, so it's like a Trump-Biden mix. Yeah. I mean, sort of. Trident. 
you never know what Biden's going to do. Bumping. Bump. Probably nothing. He, he, <laughs> he loves to do nothing. He loves to, yeah. That's his favorite thing. Uh, he likes ice cream, though. Really likes it. I bond with him on that. Yeah. <laughs> but we can't only talk about ice cream. No. We've got to talk about the other movies that we watched this week, which brings us to a segment called Panda Express Presents Express Yourself About the Movies You Watched This Week. Play that music, please. Ding, 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 it's time for the Panda Express, because we got some things to express da, 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 about the things we watched da, 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 this week. Ba, da, 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 da. I thought it'd be fun to try a new version. I liked it. <laughs> I did. I was I was mystified by it. Thank but I loved you. It. Thank you. <laughs> What did, did you watch anything this week? I watched, so I watched one and a half movies. Okay. Uh, well, maybe one and a quarter. I can't really tell. Okay. A lot left of it. Okay. Uh, I watched one of my favorite movies, Stranger Than Fiction. Classic. Oh, yeah. Love it so much. It has a sweet place in my heart. Will. Loved it. I, I got some I got some seltzer. I got some s- Sweet Tarts Rope. I got some popcorn, and I had a whole night. Sweet Tarts Rope is... So good. One of the best surprise candies of my life. Like, I was like, what the hell is this? And then yeah. I was like, what the hell is this? I ate them all. I eat them too fast. They're gone within five minutes. <laughs> Honestly, I could probably not separate any of them and just put the whole thing in my mouth and go. Ooh. <laughs> Play it like a pan flute yeah. and then. <laughs> I, I love it. Reverse throw up. <laughs> the candy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I liked it a lot. And uh, the other one I tried to watch. Uh oh. Because it was on Apple TV. Uh, which I got a notification to cancel because I had put in Good. cancel before they charged me again. <laughs> you should cancel it. Um, Argyle, which. Oh. Yeah, didn't hold me. I, I really tried. I was like, "This you don't is have just to try not good." I've watched the whole thing. Um, I didn't it's like, like it. Like, it's just a mess. I just don't buy this. The general conceit, like an author can figure out the clues. I was like, "What? This just doesn't work." I don't. Well, do you know the? Oh, is there a twist? The twist? Is it the mom all along? <laughs> It may be even worse than that. Oh, God, no. Spoiler alert. Please. Are you ever going to watch the end of this? No, I'll never finish it. (laughs) Um, Ron Howard's daughter Uh is Agent Argyle. (laughs) But she's been brainwashed to not remember. Are you serious? I'm totally serious. (laughs) And her mom is, uh, she's one of the bad guys. (gasps) And her her dad... Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, the guy who plays her dad in in when they need to have someone to play her dad mm-hmm. is Breaking Bad Man. Wow, are you serious? Yeah. Oh my God, it's pretty stupid. Dumb. Pretty so stupid. she's she's Henry Cavill. Yes, but not him. She's her. But yeah, she's him. Her. she's her. <laughs> her. I think it's even worse because like her first initial is R and her last name is Kyle. K-Y-L-E. Oh my God. Like the idea that they would brainwash her and then make it that simple is so stupid. That's pretty rough. Or Kyle. Yeah. That's so stupid. You know what I watched? No, what did you watch? I saw Hundreds of Beavers again. Oh, hell it's yeah. It's fucking awesome. I'm excited to go see it. You gotta. You gotta. I just realized it's, I have a ticket yeah. for when my friend's gonna be here. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. But he's just gonna have to come with me. Yes, he will have to come with you. Um, It's... Just the best. Yeah, I love it, it. It brought me so much joy. That's amazing. Friends, see it. Romans, Country listeners, men, watchers, instance. let us know what you want us to watch next. I don't know what's coming out next week. Um, Tweet at us at Food Court Cast. Write us a review over on your Spotify's or your Apple Podcast or whatever podcast app you use. Give us five stars. Retweet. Regram. Respond. Reels. Do uh, it all. Dingle dang. Subscribe. Respond. Hit like. Hit Comment, smash. Share. Smash. Smash. Smash things. <laughs> On behalf of Mampy Hikes, I'm Sean Parrott saying to you, 
Bon Appetit. Bye.